Hi, this is J-Man from MusicMarauders.com here with Ronnie McCurry. How you doing, Ronnie? All right, J-Man. Great. Good to see you, man. <laughs> you too, buddy. So, how is it getting to pick with your father as well as some of your uh, some of your other idols and influences? Well, um, Jay, let's see. I started in 1981 with uh -huh. that, so I've been doing it a long time, and uh, at this point, it's nearly 30 years, I guess. But uh, just to uh, to see how far the he has come. We've done it together, kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. It's still awesome, and he, uh, it's kind of his golden years, you know. And he's getting a lot of accolades these days, <laughs> and, and more coming. It's it's really cool. Right. And uh, because we've played music so long and traveled the world, and we've met so many great people to play music with. Mm -hmm. So, uh, man, no complaints here. I love it. I bet. <laughs> Um, can you talk a little bit about the traveling in the Currys and your relationship with the Lee Boys, sure. as well as the relationship between uh, Bluegrass and Sacred Steel, okay. and kind of how that meshes? Well, uh, Jay, the way that I got to meet them was the Del Fest the first year. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know them. Uh, I had heard, heard some of their music, but uh, the, the company we worked with, High Sierra, they, we worked together in booking the bands. and. Because of them, they booked them there, and uh, so during this one of their sets, uh, I went out there and just jumped on stage and played with them. That's how I met them. How, yeah, how typical! How typical! <laughs> Del Fest. You just jumping on the stage with somebody? Jeez. <laughs> so that was the first year we got to meet them, and then we struck this friendship, and, and it, it's just awesome. And uh, so after that, then we got the rest of the guys together and got to played some with them. And, mm -hmm. And we have a lot in common uh, outside of music. We're both from family bands, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a lot of things that we can relate to. Sure. And I, I discovered that after sitting down with them. And, and they're all family, and we're practically all family, uh, the guys in the band. Mm -hmm. So we decided to try and do some things together and see what would happen. And uh, from that, now we've, we've recorded uh, dozen songs we got an EP out we, got, we haven't even finished the record yet we've been mm -hmm. so busy but uh, played with them last week at All Good mm -hmm. yeah that was a great set and, oh you were there I okay. was that was right. a lot of fun yeah and uh, that that was fun you know it's just <laughs> fun to play with those guys it's so different we're out of our we're out of our element how does how did the two musics kind of come together what is it that, that relates bluegrass to sacred steel is it because it the gospel factor is it that was the first thing yeah. I think the first thing was the fact that it was, it was gospel music. Mm -hmm. We got together that way. And then, and then of course, Roosevelt is their, their steel player, their main lead guy. Yeah. He's and a great guy, a great player. He's a great fellow, a great player, they all are. Yeah. And, and the fact that we started doing some of our stuff mm -hmm. that they, they were not familiar with was a challenge for him. Sure. So together, uh, playing uh, Sacred Grass, <laughs> <laughs> We don't know what to call it, and uh, it's just been it's been a lot of fun, and, and hopefully uh, people will like the record. Yeah. That, that's really good. And we took uh, we took some old songs and some of their songs. We did one of my dad's songs. It's a gospel tune. It put a whole new feel to it. My, my dad he he listened this he listens to it more than people. He loves it. He really <laughs> that's, does, great. that's great. And I'll I'll say the the response I've seen from people you know being in the crowd and whatnot has been overwhelmingly positive and everybody's moving and it's just really yeah, it's great to see you know it is you know it, it, it we didn't know we didn't know what to expect you know it's something that's i don't think it's ever been done so came together nicely <laughs> yeah can you can you talk about the future of del fest at mm -hmm. the allegheny fairgrounds there and uh because i know there's been a little bit of controversy recently with yes, the yeah. liquor board etc yep and uh, as of this week we it, everything is smoothed out okay. we'll be there great that's great to hear because it's a great venue it is it's a beautiful place and uh, I think the, the people of Cumberland have uh, realized you know uh, you know the first year they're like well who, who are these people why are they coming to our town to do this the second and they saw that it, it what it is you know the second year uh, still just then some other people came in to see what it was like mm -hmm. right and then this year, the, after after this last festival, mm -hmm. the town has really come behind us. 
we uh, this was our first year attending. Yeah. Uh, wanted to make it out every year. This is the first year we made it out, and the locals, I mean, the, all the businesses that we stopped at, and just the locals that we met along the way were so happy about it and positive too. Yeah. I didn't really hear much negative talk. You know, yeah, so. I, and I think it, it it takes people. We're not from there. Right. But we're taking a company from California and brought them in, and you know, there's always people that are standoffish about things like that. But what they found is uh, it's a great music festival. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful place to have it. And it's very family oriented. You yeah. know? And it's probably good for the local economy too. It's really yeah, good. Like that it there. is. We, you know, they, they, I, I think they're a struggling town like so many in America. Yeah, and, sure. And it's, they, they see the benefit now. Absolutely. So they came together and we're going to be there. Great. I'm really <laughs> glad to hear that. That makes me really happy. Well, I appreciate your time today, Ronnie. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you, and you I really appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. You got it. We'll do it again. Yeah. <laughs>